Hi everybody, this is Johnny Vasquez, founder of New Stitch A Day, and in this episode, I'm going to teach you how to crochet the Peacock Fan Stitch. How to crochet the Peacock Fan Stitch, left-handed. For this tutorial, you will need a crochet hook. Special thanks to our sponsor Scassell for providing today's hooks. Today we are using their Addy Comfort Grip Crochet Hooks in the size J10. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Vanish Choice line in the color Sapphire. For this stitch you will need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, triple crochet. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in multiples of 10 plus 2. Now to start out this stitch, we're going to do a prep row. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to do a single crochet into the second chain from our hook. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by doing a triple crochet into the fifth chain. So we're going to skip four chains. So we got one, one, two, three, four. So here's our fifth one. Triple crochet. We'll yarn over twice and insert our hook, draw through, and then work in twos. Okay, and we're actually going to do a total of 11 triple crochets into that same stitch. So I'll try to do them as fast as I can. Okay, that's three. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three more. Ten. And 11. Okay, so now we're going to skip four more uh, chains here. So we've got one, two, three, four, and we're going to do a single crochet into the next chain stitch, and this will finish our repeat. So we're going to continue repeating this sequence all the way to the end of the row. Row one. After we've turned our work, we're going to chain four. Okay, and this is going to count as a triple crochet. Then we're going to do a triple crochet into the next single crochet, which will be the stitch right at the base of where we started our chain four. Okay, so we're going to start our repeat here, and we'll begin by chaining five. One, three, four, and five. Then we're going to do a single crochet into the sixth triple crochet in our fan. So we've got one, two, three, 
five, six. Okay, and then we're going to chain five again. All right, now we're going to do a triple crochet into the next single crochet. So that will be here. And we'll chain one. And we'll finish up our repeat by doing another triple crochet into the same single crochet stitch. Okay, so we're going to repeat that sequence until we reach the end of the row. All right, after we've done another chain of five near the end of our last repeat, instead of doing a uh, triple crochet chain, triple crochet, we're just going to do two triple crochets into the next single crochet. Okay, and that will finish up our row, and we'll turn our work. Row 2. We're going to begin by chaining 1. Then we're going to do a single crochet into the next single crochet. Then we are going to do 11 triple crochets into the next single crochet. So we're going to skip these 5 chain stitches here, and this will begin our repeat. All right, so once you've finished your 11 triple crochets, we are going to skip the next five chain space here, and we're going to do a single crochet into the next chain one space. So we'll just draw through and finish that up there. And that will finish up our repeat. So we're going to continue repeating this sequence until we reach the end of the row. All right, so when we finish our last repeat, instead of doing the single crochet into this chain space, the one single chain space, we're going to do it into the next single crochet. And that will finish up our row two. So we'll turn our work, and we're going to repeat rows one and two until we've reached our desired length. And that's how you do the peacock fan stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.